Hey loves, welcome to my channel. Thank you for clicking on today's Stylebana makeup review. The beautiful people from Stylebana reached out to me to send me some products to try and to show you guys. And I have here a bag filled with products from Stylebana. Stylebana is a very known Korean cosmetics online shop and has become one of the best websites to buy Korean makeup products for those who are on a beauty budget. Okay, for what I have seen from previous year now that they reached out to me is that Stylebana has very affordable makeup and skincare products and many of them also claim to have good for your skin ingredients. They also have very good discount coupons, offers, and Stylebana gave me a discount coupon for you guys, and it is the following one, INF10 Vivian, INF10, and my name Vivian, for 10 to 15% off your purchase. They have discounts for US, Canada, and UK. So I'm going to leave you the information in the description box below. I'm going to leave you also all the links to the products that I'm going to be using today in the video in the description box below, so check them out. And before we get started, please consider to like this video and also subscribe to this channel. Let's get started. Okay, first the base. I saw that I have here a foundation and this is from Amuse Beauty. I have heard this brand a lot before. I'm so excited to try it. And I have here the Amuse Skin Tune Vegan Cover Cushion. We're starting fine, vegan. That's nice. And I see here that this is in the shade 1.5 Neutral Tune. So let's see if it matches my face. They didn't send me any primers. I'm going to be trying whatever they sent me and see how they work. This is how the box looks. Oh, wow. I'm liking what I'm seeing. This is really chic. Try some use, as you can see. The open has a mirror, the sponge, say some use, and a cover. Another cover. <laughs> oh, freshly sealed. Oh, this is looking nice. There's a sponge with the foundation. Uh-oh, it's a little bit too pale for my skin. When I saw the paper out of the box, yeah, I said, oof, that looks kind of too white. I look like a ghost, but that is what they sent me. They see what we can do about it. I will add maybe some color drops to fix it up. This has SPF 45. Let's see if it changes as it dries out. Feels really soft on the skin. I feel like if I were using just a moisturizer on the skin, I like how it feels. It is like a light coverage, or like to medium formula. Let me see. It is buildable though, as you can see. I look so funny. They didn't ask me for chase. They just sent it over and I didn't have the choice of choosing anything. This is what we got. This is what we use. Now, covers well. Feels good on the skin. They didn't send any powder, so I'm going to go with the darkest powder that I find over here. I have this dark powder. It's a setting powder. I'm going to give some color to this. This absolutely needs to be set because it's really shiny, but it feels very moisturizing on the skin, which is a plus. I know I haven't done my concealer, but I'm going to go into that in a moment because I needed to fix this. Now we're looking better. Let's do the concealer now. I got very focused on the white cast that I skipped doing the concealer before. Concealer is done. Another shade of powder to set the concealer. That way I try to make it a little bit lighter and fix how it looks. Just add a tiny bit and that's it. Okay, we're looking better. The ghost is kind of almost gone. Okay, so next I have here contour and I have here the Frozen Choco Afternoon Tea Contour Palette. 
has three colors in it and this is from the brand Amem yes I have heard a lot of this brand as well this is how the box looks mm, very pretty as well look at that they're quite pale for my skin tone as well I like that they're cool toned which is more meant to contour than bronzing let's go with this one and see what happens this is super pale for my skin tone you see it's not even showing just a tiny bit let's do our best It works though. It's not that nice match that I'm used to, but something is something. And for the nose. It colored well, but it's quite pale for my skin tone as well. You can see some of it looks very natural looks like i don't have almost anything on the skin which is good but i need it to be a little more intense in terms of shade color for the eyes they sent me this glitter eyeshadow the brand black rouge which is pretty famous as well pearl belly glitter some people add it as a glitter eyeshadow as a topper to underline so let's see how it works i'm going to go straight to the eye and see what we can do with this but as you can see it has a tiny thin brush little sections at a time this is nice for a cut crease and go around the cut crease it is pretty though it feels really comfortable on the skin and it is coloring very fast buildable this comes in different shades blue pink and other ones this is like a purple shade it is pretty though i will use it either like this or as a topper okay guys this is how it looks from closer you can reach many parts and spread it evenly with just this tiny brush okay this is how it is looking okay my loves let's keep going and i have here mascara this is a kill lash superfood mascara and this is from the brand cleo rouge brown awesome i never use brown mascara so let's try this one wow looks super brown i like to use them without curling them first because i want to see how powerful they are so let's see let's see it's very thin as you can see the wand Quite thin in consistency. Took me a little while, but it looks pretty though. I would say that this is more for lengthening than thickening. I'm giving it a second coat to see how much thicker I can get them to look this is how the eyelashes are looking they're pretty but it took me around three coats as you saw to make them look like this I'm not that used to use brown mascara it is pretty though I'm impressed with the shimmer with the glitter eyeshadow because I thought I was not going to like it okay my loves now let's go to the lips and I have here from the brand black rouge the half and half water glow this is a lip gloss it is available in different shades and this is in the shade mm, hg06 hg06 look how pretty this looks looks very nice like juicy appetizing like a candy and let's try it out this is how the wand looks the applicator very nice Mmm, this feels good. Now. Mmm, I like color. I love color. Nice. This is a gloss, but has a lot of color, as you can see. 
I'm impressed guys I like glosses that are like this shiny it's not sticky it is very comfortable on the lips and they show shows off shows off hmm I would like to try other shades pretty I like it yes Vivian approved you know that I'm not a gloss girl but that one is worth it yeah it transfers it's a gloss okay Look at this, guys. It leaves you a hint of tint behind. Now let's try the other lipsticks I have here from the brand Peri Pera. The Lip Tint and Liner Set. It says here, Wine Nude. Okay, let's open it up. This is a brand that I have tried before. It is very affordable and many people swear by it. Liner, lipstick, lip tint, and lip liner. So. This is an automatic lip liner, which I love a lot. We don't have to sharpen. Okay. Oh, wow, this lines really quick. Mmm. Really creamy. I loved how fast these colors. Chose right away. Wow, <laughs> I still have the tint from the other one, doesn't come off. So let's keep going. Liner, I love it. The lip liner is really good. It's so worth it. Wow, I'm impressed. So let's go to the lip tint. I have one of these in a lighter shade. Looks like drops, but they are not drops, you see? Mmm, smells so good. Fruity. It smells like grape or something like that. Wow, this is so pretty. Mm-hmm. Covers a lot in a snap. I'm impressed. Super comfortable on the lips. Feels like a whipped formula, very creamy. Super pigmented. Wow, I'm impressed. They both worked wonders. I need blush, I need brows, so, so I'm going to use this mauve color. Now we have blush, a little bit of a natural looking highlighter. Very pretty, I love it. I'm going to do the eyebrows and I will be back. Okay, my loves, eyebrows are done. So let's set this makeup look. And I have here, also from Stylevana, the Reproused Perfect Chilled Makeup Setting Fixer. And this is from the brand Frudia. Frudia claims to have fruit ingredients in their products and it is vegan. Oh, look at this, guys. Doesn't this look like high-end? Wow, long lasting dewy finish. All day holding. Okay, let's try it out. Looks amazing. This line became really famous a while ago, Frudia, especially because it was affordable and it had very good ingredients in it. So let's try it out. Okay, it is good. Mm, it smells very refreshing. It's really nice. Look at that. My skin looks really natural glowy but not glowy in like a shiny bulb which is good i love the smell mm. it smells like goodness like something like healthy okay my lovelies my opinion about this stylevana products yay vivian approved i was a little bit skeptical at the beginning because i saw brands that i have heard but haven't tried at least much before and i'm very impressed because the products are very very affordable and they worked wonderfully well and one thing that is really interesting is that if not all almost all of them are vegan and they have good ingredients in them i'm impressed i'm like wow they worked really nice if you want like to use vegan products good for your skin and affordable stylevana is the place so the foundation as you can see left my skin looking beautiful of course i looked like casper <laughs> 
at the beginning because they sent me a super pale foundation for my skin tone and I like that it is vegan and that it has SPF 45. It is amazing. What I'm going to do is that I'm going to add some maybe color drops to add some color to it and keep using it because I honestly liked it. Look at my skin. It looks so pretty, very beautiful. I feel so comfortable. I feel like if I just added a moisturizer to my skin. Bronzer worked well. I wish that it also was darker, but it worked. It's a very natural looking contour, which is good. So it worked well. The liquid eyeshadow with the little liner brush worked wonderfully well. I'm impressed with that as well. Dries out nicely, not sticky, it's not transferring which is a plus. I'm impressed with all the lipsticks, the lip gloss. You know that I'm not a gloss girl, but this one works wonders. I would love to try other shades. And the Peripera, both of them worked wonderfully well. Let's see the smoochy test. It does transfer as you can see, because it is creamy. I did the test, transferred, but I have a lot of color left, which is really good. I want more of this and the setting spray, as you can see, says that it's dewy. My skin feels really good, amazingly well, very natural looking. It does look a little bit shiny, but it is not in a bad way. My skin looks super healthy. And the mascara worked well, though it doesn't give a huge tone of volume. Well, my loves, comment below which one was your favorite product from this video. What do you think about this Salvana product? Comment below, let me know. And remember, give me a like if you like this video and also subscribe to this channel to receive notifications of my new videos. Thank you so much for watching. See you soon. Bye-bye.